All right, welcome here to the USA Club National Sevens coming at you from Starfire Stadium in Seattle. Uh, it's Alex Corbusier here on the microphone, joined with fresh off the plane from Tokyo, Team USA Women's Sevens co-captain Abby Gostaitis. Abby, welcome to the broadcast. I know obviously you're excited to be here. You played in this tournament. And you're excited for some rugby. Super excited. Thanks for having me. We are going to get underway here shortly with Life West versus Nova. I played here back in 2014 with Nova, so we shall see how they go. Oh. Kickoff's gone short there, not 10. First free kick to Nova. They'll take the tap at the half. Life West getting back 10. Great opportunity from the start for Nova. And we saw Nova with a, with a few sort of pre-planned moves. Love a switch on some of these free kicks. Off with the, the middle, loop. The switch works. To, oh, Ooh. possible Play interception. gone forward from the opposition. Nova gather it. Get the ball out of the ruck down the short side. Good tackle from Light West there. Nova recycle possession really well. Lovely bit of footwork. Offload to keep it alive. Working down the short side. Nova looking dangerous here. Not rolling away, it looked like, or not releasing there, the call from the referee. Good support from Nova to get early in the breakdown as well to make that picture very clear. Another penalty here for Nova. Emily Bleese with the ball, gives it off to Ariel Johnson. Nova recycle it, move the ball out wide, line speed from Life West. It's been all Nova so far with possession. Haven't been able to make much of it, but they are in the right area of the field. Life West counter rocking hard, making it scrappy, but Nova still having the ball. Big tackle from Life West and a counter ruck. And Life West have the ball. They attack down the side. Great defense from Nova tackling into touch there, Abby. Absolutely great 1v1 tackle. It's going to be a line out to Nova. Nova showed a lot of possession, like you said, in this first few minutes of the game. But Life West here for the defense and had a great turnover opportunity. Ref calling time off now. Should be getting the ball back into this line out in a second here. Nova will look to, they don't want to, they don't want to dance around here, Abby. They don't want to be too much possession down here. It looks like Life West are aggressive in defense. Don't want to give a turnover away here. Absolutely. They, and Nova has some speed on the wing. Let's see if they can get it there. Clean line out. Nova possession. Take it over the middle. She holds on to it. Very good turnover yeah. from Life West there. Amy Neighbor, Bronte with the turnover. She looks for the quick tap. Life West not quite ready for it. Miscommunication there. Life West recycle the ball. They go blind. And that's a try for Life West. Opening try of the contest. Nice work there. Exactly what we said Nova didn't want there, Abby. You know, they got turned over at the breakdown. Somewhere Life West has been strong in this game so far, and then it's really hard to recover from that, uh, you know, with the turnover and then eventually the penalty and getting down there. Getting stuck in the ruck, Nova just rolling away, leaving that blind side open. Great spot by number 14 for Life West. Kick is no good, so that's going to be 5-0 Life West. And Life West has several USA Eagles on their team, including Nini Persinger, who just attempted that conversion. Also, Hope Rogers, Nicole Shresko, Amy Bronte, as we already discussed. Nova doing well to hold up so far. Absolutely. Life West kick deep. Nova gather it. They take contact, secure the ruck well. Moving the ball out there. Defensive pressure from Life West is strong. 
Not sure if that was rolling away or not at the breakdown, but the turnover is good from the referee. Penalty to Life West, they tap and go. Oh. Great tackle from Nova on Hope Rogers. And that's another try for Life West. And, and, and that seems to be the recipe there for them, Abby, is, is to keep them down there, uh, to keep them pressured, to get the ball back, and then use their power players to strike. Exactly. Number 14 with two tries on the match. Just hard runs, great ball carriers. Ariel Johnson did well to take down Hope Rogers, but the support from Life West was unmatched, and Nova unable to defend that try line. And obviously we're going to get another restart here after this kickoff. And if you're, if you're Life West, Abby, where are you looking to kick off? They kicked deep so far. They've got a lot of reward for, for pressuring there. Do you think they'll go the same again? I think continuing to kick deep, their line speed is doing well. They're getting off. They're making their 1v1 tackles. I would continue to put pressure on Nova, pin them down in their half, see if you can get that turnover. The kick was no good. That means it is 10 nothing to Life West here. They lead Nova in the first half. Kickoff goes. Referee deems that's backwards. Play on. Nova finally with a potential line break here. Strong counter ruck from Life West. And they've got the ball back and the referee says it's fine. This is their game plan. They look to strike. Knock on Life West. Good line speed and pressure from Nova there under the pump but that seems to be the recipe they're, they're constantly turning the ball over at the rucks abbey and that's when life west are coming to strike life west is sending two or three players into that ruck nova is just not ready they can't handle that counter ruck and life west getting the ball getting the opportunity winning those turnovers but now nova ball scrum right at midway really want to look to get some points on the board in this first half ah oh, unforced error there knock on from nova Really unfortunate to see that as the time is clicking down in this first half. It's another platform for Life West to strike. Life West has a big scrum, a lot of USA 15's Eagles in that forward set. I assume they look to provide a little push in that scrum. Get the ball out to Nini Persinger. She's got some wheels, plays wing for the USA 15's. Several caps there. I believe she's been in the sevens program training groups as well at some point. And okay. Life West rampage again with another try. And the recipe just keeps working for them. Keeping the game down here. Once they get possession, they get on the front foot. Nova really struggling with that sort of quick ball that once they get one sort of carry or so, they're generating. Again, Life West exploiting right around the breakdown. Nova getting sucked in, trying to get those turnovers, but not getting the calls. They just need to bounce out of that ruck and set those pillars or posts and get their defensive shape. Third one. attempt at the kick for Life West. This one looks better. Don't believe it was good again. So that means it's 15 nothing. That is half time. Life West comfortable 15 nothing leaders over Nova in this first half. So Abby, you know, not the game that Nova would have wanted right now. What what would you do? Or what were the fix ups that you'd be trying to say in that huddle uh, to try and get a better second half performance? Keeping it simple. When they had possession in the first half, they were able to keep it big element is the support life west is getting in those breakdowns able to turn it over whether that's getting their hands on the ball or counter rucking nova with the quick support get their back line set just get it to the speed on the outside we've seen earlier today their wingers can have scored some electric tries and just backing themselves with defense however getting out of that breakdown and just getting that line set and when it comes to the breakdown, say, say you're the first person in, are, are you just needing to be more secure and stronger in that position? Or is it the nine who's arriving is not getting the ball out quick enough? Definitely a little bit of both. Even the ball carrier, we're going, they're getting tackled, they're going right to ground. Let's get a little more work on the ground. Place that ball back for your team. Set that off sides line. We see Life West getting off the line, providing that pressure. And that's causing several errors from Nova's back line. 
So Nova will look to secure ball at the breakdown, to cut down the unforced errors. And then lastly, they need to start taking some chances and scoring some tries. They're down here, have to take risks. Like you said, they have pace on the wings. Let's hope they can use it. Absolutely. Life West, I think they're just going to keep going pedal to the metal. No stopping, pretending it's 0-0, and they're out trying to put a few more tries in. As we get set up for the second half, the teams will switch sides. Kickoff coming. Both of these teams, stalwarts in club sevens in the history. Nova has been coming to these tournaments for over a decade. Life West, newer program, however, have had much success at these tournaments. Absolutely. Life West will be one of these teams that have arrived here trying to win this thing, right, Abby? Absolutely. There are several players who have been capped on the USA Sevens team played on this series. It's going to be Nova kickoff. Let's see where they send this one. <laughs> Unlucky first kick. That's going to be a free kick to Life West at the halfway. Let's Co see what they make of it. Costly error there from Nova. We talked about the emphasis of having to get, you know, get going in this game, and that's just the, the worst start that you could possibly want from the half is to just give them another free shot at you. Life West with the switch, takes contact. They get the ball out of the ruck, move it out wide. Take Nova on in the middle. Offload keeps the ball free. Hope Rogers with the break. She goes out. She goes in. Huge turn of pace. But what a cover tackle. But that is a try. Unfortunately, the cover tackle came too late. Hope Rogers with the break up the middle. Dots it down. A lot of people expect her to power through people. But there she is cutting into open space and dotting it down. Using that finesse instead of the physicality that we know that Hope can bring to the 7th and 15 arena. And I apologize for thinking of the try saving tackle. The lines aren't as clear as I would have liked. The white line is actually the dead ball for everyone watching. And there is a darker line in front of it, which is a try line. And, that, and that's another mixed kiss for like, uh, kick for Life West. And, and that brings it to 20 nothing the score as they lead comfortable over Nova. And you know, it, it seems to be, a, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but almost a rinse, wash, repeat of what Life West are trying to do here to Nova Abbey. Absolutely. Life West to kick off. Nova really needs to look to regain this, control the receipt, and just keep possession, build the phases. They're not making Life West work on defense. And we have a new kicker here. Amy Bronte looks to kick off. Let's see what Nova can make of it. Kick off up the middle. Nova gather it. They take contact. Strong tackle from Life West. Get the ball out, Nova. Switch up the middle. Unfortunately, a knock on. Play on as Life West react to it. Great intercept. And the referee brings it back for the knock on and the scrum. But a little bit of miscommunication there from Nova, unfortunately. And uh, that's another costly error there. Nova getting caught up in the little mistakes. Just need to pick their heads up. Focus on this set right here. It's going to be Life West ball, I believe. Life West almost into the attacking 22. They've made a few subs. Let's see what the fresh faces can do in those green jerseys. And if you're Nova, that's the last thing you want to do is see fresh faces come on when you're trying to chase this game. Ball goes into the scrum. Life West get it out. Good pressure from Nova at the base. Crash up the middle from Persinger. it. She moves the ball blind. Rogers with the tarry. Great tackle from Nova. Referee deemed that she wasn't held. She continues her de destructive running abilities. Oh, looks like a knock on there from Life West as they cross the line. And Nova have it. What can they do with it here in their 22? Move the ball out wide. Big crunching tackle from Life West. And I believe we are about to finally 
get this penalty taken from Life West as they are 20 to nothing up in this game against Nova. They're very comfortable, in control. They've got a lot of strike wet runners, a lot of options here. Abby, what are you thinking when you're defending five meters out like this? got to stay connected get off that line apply some pressure you're seven up you don't have your sweeper back so it's 1v1 situation across the pitch you see life west setting up you see amy bonte out here on the wing there's a lot of space in front of her we shall see where life west decides to go and hope rogers right up the middle we saw the finesse earlier this time she opts for the power she dots it down that, that, that's route one what we got to call in rugby where i'm from route one rugby straight and direct and that's the thing you're defending five meters on your line. You've got seven up. You've got all these numbers and options to worry about, but then you've still got to respect the, the big threat. Persing her there with her successful conversion as she comes off the field. Well deserved break. Life West look to kick off. And that one is not gone 10 meters. And it'll be brought back for a free kick on the halfway mark. And from a Nova point of view now, you've had a lot of time to think about the game. You've been stop started. They just want to play and maybe not overthink things now and just have some fun and enjoy and try and score. Absolutely. Hold on to that ball. Build some momentum. Great tackle by Life West. That's Nicole Strasco. Penalty to Nova. Will they look to take it quick or slow things down and run their penalty play? That's Shell Snyder with the ball in hand. Been playing for Nova for several years. Another switch from Nova, but it's been big D. And it, it, is that Strasco again with another big hit in the middle? of the field but Nova recycle the ball they keep it alive they get it out of the breakdown a bit of a scrappy pass there goes over the top but they gather they take contact the strip from life west but Nova have regathered it again they secure the ball they've had moments of possession Abby but they just haven't really been able to get going they constantly getting forced back by this life west defense and line speed and physicality in the tackle as well as well as the breakdown we've talked about life west has not missed a tackle they're also playing seven up they don't have that sweeper back so for nova they don't see any space they're looking to play to a match situation constantly johnson up the middle offloads nova keeping the ball alive they work it out to the wing looks like life west have it covered footwork from nova they recycle the ball it's a Penalty for high tackle. Nova take. Look to take it quick. Referee brings it back. Not from the mark. Nova coming to set up another penalty play. And you, just, and you just think Nova have had quite a few of these and they've yet to really gain from it. Maybe a quick tap is what exactly what they need exactly. to try and catch Life West out of that seven up position. Looks to take the corner. Oh. Ooh, strong tackle from Life West. Throwing Nova into touch there. Again, we've said it several times, but the Life West defense, just impenetrable, making all their 1v1 tackles. It's going to be Life West ball, their line out on the halfway, as a few substitutions come in to finish this game out. Line out to Life West hit. Time ticking away in this second half. 27 nothing up for Life West over Nova. Oh, miscommunication at the line out, but Life West have gathered it. Nova putting pressure at the breakdown. Unfortunately, referee deems that it wasn't from through the gate. From Life the West just looking to slow it down. They know they have this game in the bag. Kill a little more time off the clock as it winds down. Life West take it up the middle. Arms free in the tackle. They get the offload away. As Persinger her back on as she crashes up the middle. Leg drive, but it, Nova could potentially have held that up. Referee hasn't called. Maul deemed it a tackle. Ball is down. Moved out to the edge. Life West on the foot. Footwork. Back inside, Fend. 
And that's another strong try from Life West, number 15. Beautiful footwork and then finishes it with the fin just to get around, cutting back inside that winger, not having that inside support from Nova, just p being a little passive on defense, needing to come up and take that space when they're matched. Agreed. They haven't really been done on the edges, Abby, with a lot of these tries. It's been more cutbacks and through the middles and, and that missed tackle as they step back inside that has really sort of been costly for them. Absolutely. And maybe Nova can just tighten up going forward, just getting their defensive line right. And Person. that is the game, folks. We finish at 34-0. The win going to Life West with Nova never giving up until the end. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, a, a tough contest for Nova there, but a well-deserved win for Life West as they march on in this tournament. Welcome back to Pitch 2 action from the USA Club National Sevens. We have ARPTC kicking off against Tempe. In this group match, they've gone low. It's gone across the ground. Referee deemed that it didn't go 10. That's a free kick to Tempe. They're setting it up. Let's see what penalty play they will go with. Tempe go up the middle with a hard carry. They recycle the ball to the right. Good pressure in the tackle. Breakdown pressure, and the referee deems that off feet from the defensive side. Tap wasn't through the mark. Tempe bring it back. They spin the ball out wide. Tempe on the edge. They straighten up down the middle. They take contact. Tempe recycle. Dancing, fending, keeping the ball alive. Uh, extra roll there by Lindsay Mahoney. ARPTC with the quick tap. Get the ball wide. They have space. To the edge. That's number two for ARPTC. She's going to run it in right under the post. And that is Lucero, Autumn. Luciero with the try for ARPTC and, and that's a fantastic sort of you know transitional try there Abby going from obviously defending being physical they got uh, they got the reward they got the penalty and just like that they strike and they score it's exactly what you want in sevens definitely really great defense by ARPTC they made their 1v1 tackles and they forced an extra movement by Tempe in order to get that penalty just a quick tap and they moved the ball wide. They sucked in the last defender and gave their winger time and space with the ball. And that's what every winger wants. Not that I would know, as <laughs> I am not a winger. But I love to give the ball yeah, to Yeah, I was going to say, wingers. you love to feed the speed, is, is what I see you do often out there. And I think that's the recipe in sevens. And ARPTC about to kick off. Hopefully it won't be a free kick like the last one. This one goes 10, but it bounces into touch. And that will be a line out for Tempe, about 38 meters out. <laughs> 38, is it, Alex? If, if I, I count the 10 as the 40, but then I might have then wondered if I, this field isn't as I big as what sure I was I wasn't sure if you had a measuring tape out there. and you just Don't worry, I'll get out there and measure it after this game and I'll get back to you all, all right? Tempe line out, ref telling ARPTC that they need to get back 10 meters. Great opportunity for Tempe, even being in their own half. They have a lot of time and space. They win the line out, but it's scrappy. Get the ball out. Look to go back down the short side. Pressure from ARPTC. Tempe keep the ball alive. Offload through the tackle. Go down the short side again. Breaks the tackle. Strong work on the edge defensively from ARPTC, but Tempe still have the ball. They fling it out midfield. Oh, costly as that one was a little too high and knocked on there from Tempe. ARPTC gather it and they score. I believe that was Sophia Purs with the try. Just great scramble by ARPTC. Able to be in the right position because of that line speed. 
Maybe if Tempe just tightens up around that ruck, getting that ball to hands will come a lot easier. Because it, it really has been the, the, the errors of Tempe or, or, or that have really fed so far this ARPTC attack in the two tries that they've scored. I believe that kick was no good, leaving it 12 nothing to ARPTC. As they'll look to kick off again against Tempe. And, and really the whole game has predominantly been in uh, Tempe's half. And, and, and that, is, that is why the game has sort of got away from them, in my opinion. And a few different kickoff tactics by ARPTC. This time she sends it long, unable to handle it, but it goes backwards. Oh, Ooh. and is that a clean break to the winger? Does she have enough to go all the way? ARPTC with the chase down. Will she catch her in time? It's going to be tight, but Tempe with the try. Unreal effort. And in front of the post as well there for a good shot at the conversion. Exactly what they needed. It looked like, Abby, they were under absolute pressure. Kick long <laughs> in their own 22 again. ARPTC coming up with pressure, but they managed to just find that little bit of an edge, and that was all it took. A little bit of space, ball to your winger, and she just dusted all other 13 players. ARPTC just getting a little narrow on that kickoff chase. I think they thought they were going to get that ball back after it was bobbled. And conversion is good. Tempe right back in it, 7-12, to 12, and it will be their kickoff. And we have a game on our hands in this first half. Tempe trail, 7-12. to 12. Be looking to get the ball back with the kickoff. They kick deep. ARPTC gather. Breaks the first tackle. Gets to an edge. They recycle the ball. They go through the hands. It's bobbled over the top. ARPT still have it. Can they get the space on the oh. edge? Tempe shut it down, but the offload. Back inside, ARPTC. No one chasing back. That's going to be an easy one for ARPTC to dot down right in the middle of the post. Allison Hale takes her time, touches it down, brings it to 17-7, kick to come. And that's just a threat in sevens. If you have a bit of pace on the edge and you can get, then even if you are tackled, get your arms free and you've got a good supporting run, very, very hard to stop that. We've seen that a lot. It's that inside defense, not connecting, not chasing. They're saying the ball's out of their person's hands. Maybe I can take a little rest, but they just need to get on their horse and close that space for that next person getting that ball. Just always stay alive on the inside in defense is what was always shouted at me from a young age. <laughs> As a prop, especially. <laughs> exactly. When, when you're speed challenged, you can't take a second off. Another deep kick by ARPTC. Will that go all the way into the try zone? Wow. Great kick. Tempe has to play out of their own five meter. She sends it. Ooh, favorable bounce, potentially. ARPTC gather, but they look to be off their feet. Could that be a turnover? Referee oh. gives scrum. ARPTC. ARPTC ball deemed a knock on from Tempe there, probably in the breakdown, and that is half time. Half time. 19 to 7, ARPTC lead Tempe at the half, Abby. And um, what did you make of the first half action? Really enjoyable match to watch. We saw some back and forth, we saw some pace, and it's going to come down to defense. Which team can stop the quick tries? They're not having to build a lot of phases on attack, it's simple one off runs. And just that inability to connect and make those tackles on defense. So I'm excited to see what the second half brings. I think Tempe will continue to bring the energy. And as long as they can stop with the errors and giving up the ball to ARPTC, because that is exactly what they're capitalizing on. When they're pressurized deep in their 22 and they're seven up against them, do you, is the kick a good option like we just saw there? Or what, what would you look to do? Because that seems to be where Tempe are coming unstuck. That seven up pressure in their own half. Haven't really had an answer except for that one off the kickoff where they got the try. I definitely don't mind the kick option. I would say send it to an edge. You send it in the middle and you just open up both sides for ARPTC to attack. Especially Tempe, they're only sending that one flyer to go and chase that kick. Yes, you get them on sides, but you need to have that wall coming right back behind them if you're not going to regain that ball back. 
for ARPTC, they've, we've seen a few different kickoffs, and they're finding success with kicking it deep. Would you continue to go there? I, I, I think so. If the recipe's working and, and you're getting good reward from it, why change? I, I feel like their pressure on Tempe in that last sort of, you know, 22 or so has been the difference between the two teams and that they seem to strike when they get the ball back in those positions. And ARPTC has been at Club 7s every year since they started. It's American Rugby Pro Training Center in Little Rock, Arkansas. They have a few of these athletes that actually train full time. Interesting. Very, very exciting. And then where would the majority of them all come from? Other teams, other clubs? or how, how Other do they do clubs across the country. And then they all move to Little Rock and train. And as you can see, that they seem like a well-oiled machine. They're really on the same page. And we're off for the second half. Down the middle, kicked long by Tempe. ARPTC keep the ball alive, but Tempe drive them into touch. Good defensive set there from Tempe. Forward past the ref call. So it's actually going to be a scrum versus the line out. Again, Tempe opportunity here. Their set piece in their ARPT's half. One of the first times that they have this opportunity. And it's a great attacking opportunity just because the amount of space that has opened up, Abby, with all the players in the scrum. Definitely. And if you look to see how Tempe is set up this back line, their fly off nice and close, but their center and wing are time and space. Let's see if they get the ball out there. Tackled off the scrum. Tempe. Defensive pressure from ARPTC, but they get the ball alive. Carry with in the midfield. Footwork through the tackle. Cover tackle made by ARPTC. They recycle, coming around the corner. Pin and pass, gets the ball to the edge. Great tackle by ARPTC and into touch, unfortunately. Both I'll... teams we've seen that getting taken into touch. As soon as you see you're not gassing your person in the five meter channel, you just need to cut back in. It is not worth the turnover. Agree, just a little lateral there as they came around the corner. Instead of fixing someone, I, I honestly always believe that instead of just sort of drifting towards that touchline, just going straight and hard and committing defenders, and especially if you know you have your support there for the clear out and the breakdown, instead of going into touch, which is costly. And ARPTC here, scrappy ball at the line out, but they've done something with it. They keep it alive with the offload, recycle at the ruck. They have time and space. Can they get it to their winger? Center has a go, pins the last defender, and she is off to score another try. That is Autumn Los Saro. Los Saro. Believe that is her second in the match. Yes. They just got Tempe congested in the middle there around that far breakdown. The forwards and the scrum half did a great job cleaning up that messy ball, like you said, off the line out. And then all they did was get the ball wide. The center had to go, pin the last defender, and their winger was off. Absolutely. Fix the defenders well in the middle to create that sp space on the edge for the try. The conversion was good. That makes it 26-7 to 7 for ARPTC. I believe. <laughs> Kicked it short. Great footwork. ARPTC congested around that breakdown. They get the ball out. They have a 2v1 opportunity. Can they exploit it? Tempe recycle. Have the ball in the midfield, looking for passing options. Goes behind the player, scrappy ball, pressure from ARPTC. Penalty to Tempe for playing the player without the ball. She thought that Tempe player was going to pick up the loose ball. Unfortunately, she didn't. Time is off right now for a potential injury. Number six from ARPTC is down. Being seen to Georgie Paris Redding, I believe, who is down at the moment, getting some medical attention. Both teams looking to connect. She gets a round of applause. She walks off the field on her own. We love to see that. Tempe looking a little winded over there.
taking that knee, getting a little water. They've had to, sorry, they've had to work hard in attack and defense with very little reward. And, and, and sevens can be a cruel game in that fact. We come back to that penalty. The ref has actually put the long arm towards ARPTC. Unclear what the penalty was, but ARPTC ball in the attacking half. They tap. Dummy the middle, move it out wide to the edge. Looks like they've created some space. Strong defense from Tempe there as they take them into touch, Abby. And I don't know about you, but getting tackled into touch is... is, is it's such a cynical one for me for, for attacking teams because it's just the, 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 the defense is another defender is another defender there and it's just a turnover and, and, and if they could just recycle that ball you think with the success they've had they probably score they're just doing a little too much with ball in hand they're drifting across the pitch instead of just pinning and letting their winger hit on flat to that ball instead everyone's having to go lateral towards the sideline Ref deemed that line out not straight, so it's going to be a line out to ARPTC. Great field position. Overthrown, however. Let's see who regains it. Tempe, the fly half, gathers that loose ball. That means Great the middle. footwork. Give it. Unfortunately, doesn't go to hand there for Tempe. Pressure from ARPTC. Ball in the touch. Should be a line out to Tempe there. Touch judge agrees with me. Again, it's just that taking one too many steps with the ball in the middle. Just get the ball out wide. You've already committed the defense. They're getting too close to the defensive line, and you're forcing that perfect pass, which they're not able to execute. Absolutely, Abby. Just one pass away consistently. Tempe with the ball. They clean line out. Ball back inside. There are no Tempe supporters around her, however. Not releasing. We're not rolling away there. Tempe not needs to score, so they're going to go quickly here. Really unfortunate for Tempe as the offload doesn't go to hand. They take it up the middle. They recycle at the rock. Penalty for not rolling away. Tempe. They tap and they go. Ball doesn't go to hand. They have it on the edge here. Big opportunity. Big carry from Tempe. Number one, breaking through for the try. What a try. That is Chloe Jex. Scores. It may be a little too little too late for Tempe, but great to get that try in. Conversion to come. A bit of pace and power, as you saw her. She backed herself on the edge, but she had that fend ready. Absolutely, and, and it just goes to show that maybe if they've been able to get the ball more to the edge earlier in this game, they could have got more reward from it, as you were talking about, Abby. Definitely. There will be another kickoff. Tempe looking to kick. ARPTC seems to have secured this win. It is 26 to 12 right now. Short kickoff from Tempe. ARPTC gather it. Oh, could have been knocked on in the contact there, and it has. Referee's seen it. Scrum to Tempe here. ARPTC will be annoyed with that. It's been a little bit where they just haven't had the ball, haven't had a, a little patch of the game. They're obviously ahead on the scoreboard, it's a, and, and it's, it's really been Tempe that have been the ones chasing or dogging it out. It's a bit frustrating playing sevens and not having that ball, but they haven't been applying that pressure that we saw from the first half. Fatigue definitely a factor. It's warm out here. But Tempe opportunity, their scrum, ball deemed backwards, picked up by Tempe. They're offloading it. Strong carry forward there. Recycle the ball. Picks at the ruck herself. Ball is loose. ARPTC dived on it. Referee's got a whistle. I believe that's a yellow card for someone on ARPTC. There we go, number five. Unfortunately, wasn't able to see exactly what the cynical offense was. They got the yellow card. But it's a penalty to Tempe as they tap. They move it. Oh. Big tackle from ARPTC. Unfortunately, knocked on by Tempe. Unable to control it. Great hit. 
by ARPTC to finish that one out. And that's going to be a game here on field two. 26 for ARPTC to 12 for Tempe. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to Starfire Stadium, National Club Sevens. We've got this match between the Washington Athletic Club and the Chicago North Shore. I'm Ooh, great take, great with take. John Persh, USA rugby legend and tri scorer extraordinaire. John, Chicago North Shore in the Green Bay Packers colors as WAC are in the blue. Blending in lovely with this pitch today, Matt. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure we got that right. We got it right. So, do you, do you see our touch judge today, Matt? I did not. Who's our touch Devin judge? Devin O'Shaughney. USA USA rugby legend. Scrum that. Oh, here we go. Shut front door, and there's number 21 and I, skating down the outside. I think she's going to put it away. And it looks like she's going to go all the way. Number 21 for WAC, Washington Athletic Club, the home team. Great speed on the outside. Great vision to turn it back inside. Unbelievable, just like that, and it's a score. And we're looking for the rosters that we don't have, John, so it's going to be one of those. Well, either way, she looked magnificent putting that away. Great try. Great, great speed. try. Great speed up the inside. Great vision to cut it back. Turn in the corner, and how about that conversion? Was the conversion good? As we yes, go it, was great. it was good. It was great. The conversion was great. <laughs> it was great, as a matter of fact. Excellent. As we go up in the scissor lift, it's like we're on an, we're on an ocean cruise, ladies and gentlemen. It does feel a little bit balmy up here. Good restart. There's your restart taken by Chicago North Shore. Again, they are in the green and gold. And Washington Athletic Club, a.k.a. WAC, wearing, wearing the white and black white today, black. Matt. Yeah. Sharp-looking uniforms, I must say. Sharp-looking uniforms. Kid. Ooh, strong run on the inside. And some good defense as well. As it burst up the middle, is it turned over? Did she have a platform? Nope, it's going to nope. go back to the original it's going infraction. Back. So they were playing with the advantage or house money, John. You know about house money. I'd love house money. Always take your shots. So what do you do here? You tap and go? I think she's kicking for touch. Yep, she's kicking for touch. Well done. Well done. Good field position. Marching her field team down the field. Let's see if I can. Matt, it's always good to be back in the booth with you. It is, John. It's been too long. A lot, lot of good memories. It's been too long. A lot of good memories. Here we go. The old side oh, of our there... underhand put in. Number 21. Gets her own throw in back. And now North Shore looking to get something going deep in. She's she got to roll away. Territory. Did she get pinched? Oh, no. strong. Right up the gut for the try for the first score of the match. Chicago North Shore. Well done, North Shore. Strong run inside. Pinned her ears back. Just decided to go right through that defense. How great is this? As the conversion is good, so it's that great. knocks us at 7-7. Seven, seven. The conversion is great, as a matter of fact. The conversion <laughs> is great. Everything is a little extra great because we're out here again doing rugby with fans. Teams rugby going rugby is happening, Matt. I rugby. think we talked about that earlier, didn't we, we not? We did. We're just cluing the folks at home of what we discussed in the green room. It's a beautiful day here in Seattle at Starfire Park. We've got tunes going. We've got three pitches of rugby going on, all live streamed on the rugby on the rugbynetwork.com. Uh oh. That's a that's a poor choice by Athletic. Yeah, that one goes deep. She's very casual about bringing it out. So she maybe sure she is. Something that we don't. But she's corralled by green and gold. But it's going to be a penalty for not rolling away on the tackle. You've got to get quick, out of there if you quick tackle restart. somebody. And here comes Wack. There she is. She's got a lot of room. She's, She's got, got support on the outside. outside. Now on the inside. Jet. She's got to go the length of the field, number eight, for the try. Oh. Strong, strong run. 
What'd you think of that one, John? You know, she saw an opening. She went with it. She had great support on the outside. Purse think like end to end run for a try. The, the remember the old days, <laughs> watching you s <laughs> scoot down. And that conversion. So right now, Wack and North Shore locked in a battle. The heat's going to start getting to these girls here in a little bit. Well, it's, it's, I'm already spritzing. I'm schwitzing a little schwitzing. bit. I'm schwitzing. 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 Uh, those are the New York days, Matt. Uh, those days of schwitzing. Re restart, oh. gathered by Athletic. No, that's North Shore. North Shore. Yeah. Chicago North Shore. That's right. That's why you stick to the color. I'll take the play-by-play. -play. You hack. Oh, barreling over the would-be tackler who just scored a try. Great defense, though. Paying the price on that tackle and doing it again. Number eight having a great game for Wack so far. Both sides Strong runs by Chicago North Shore. Big, powerful runs by these ladies. Yeah, right now, number 10 for Chicago North Shore and number 8 for WAC have been showing that they are here to play. Not that their teammates aren't. 21 with Chicago North Shore. Pinned down hard by Washington Athletic. Oh, she's got her on the outside. Oh, she lost it forward. Oh, unlucky. As unlucky. As Tristan Lewis would say. <laughs> Chicago Lions legend whose team is here. Hey, how about a happy birthday to Kevin Flynn? That's right. It Come is on. Flynn's birthday. Happy birthday, Kevin. I just saw you about two seconds ago. And if you're listening or you're watching, happy birthday, Flynn. S Seattle Rugby Club legend and Mike Friday lookalike. <laughs> yes, Kevin he Flynn. is Mike Friday lookalike. He's gonna, they're both going to love that, and, right? <laughs> <But here laughs> they are literally like, never doing another interview with you again, Matt. <laughs> this is not an interview. This is a call of a match. There's no shore. Chicago North Shore with a great push, but they turn it over just shy of the try line, and here comes, here comes Wack. Another great tackle, lots of great hitting, uh -oh. tackling. Neither team backing down at all. Wack trying to play it out of their end. Maybe a little kick here, John. No, they're going to run it out. Do it the old-fashioned way. And she did not she release did not the ball and rolled, and that's not good. Well, the referee didn't like it. And that's really all that matters. Tap taken. Chicago North Shore. Quick defense. Offside. And there's a try for Chicago North Shore. It was good work by Chicago North Shore. Consistent, smart ball, quick ball coming out, good hard runs. Really impressive by both these teams, Matt. And uh, yeah, there's the conversion is going up. It's this is a tough angle from a distance. And well struck. That's a good effort. Well oh, struck. Just to the face, right of the face of the goalposts. But and that'll be our halftime. John, what did you see so far in this one? You know, really smart, strong runs by both teams. Ladies on both sides, consistent, not getting too lateral, uh, pinning their ears back, going up and down the field. Strong hard runs. Strong runs indeed, and it's halftime right now. We can. I think the humidity starting to pick up. We'll see what happens in the second half. I think it's going to be a little bit of a battle of attrition. Matt, what do you think? I don't know who this guy attrition is, but this is a women's match. So attrition, attrition Lewis, attrition, attrition Lewis. No, yeah, it, it's they, they the physicality that they showed in the first half. If they can keep that going, there's going to be bodies laying on this pitch. Right, there was some heavy hitting going on. Real strong tackles and smart tackles, too. And, and I'm just, I keep looking around. There's, there's gaps here, ladies and gentlemen, because I keep looking around 
at the spectacular setting here we have in the Pacific Northwest. This is the home of the Sea Wolves. We're on field two, which if this was on Randall's Island in New York, we'd all be, wow, this is the best thing since sliced bread, right? <laughs> can you still see the manhole covers in Randall's Island? You can. You can. That, that's, that's still called Manhattan's field. <laughs> they had the one with some grass. Some Where grass. That little piece of turf that you I, put over the mantle. I, I remember those. Or the drain. It was well, a, it, was, it, was it was a sewage drain. Drain, yep. Drainage ditch. Yeah. But now we're back for the second half whack. And Nor uh, Chicago North Shore. Whack Washington Athletic Club in black and white. They are considered a home team, of course. Whereas the Chicago North Shore in the Green Bay Packer colors. And I know I'm going to get grief really? for that somehow. But they are in Green Bay Packer colors. They, they, are, they are, in fact, in Green Bay Packer colors from Chicago. So I'm, I'm wondering how that quite works out. I feel like there's got to be some rule against it. <laughs> yeah, you think. Restart by Washington Athletic. Uh, well done to hold on to that ball. You know. The ball's Strong. Get slick, slick with some of this, the perspiration right now. That's that's obviously yeah. going on on the pitch. See these but, are smart, strong run by Chicago North Shore, and a great pass. You know, it's all about the fundies and sevens, and there's not releasing and a penalty to whack, unfortunately, for Chicago North Shore. Oh, did we just get a yellow? And oh, and we got a yellow. We Simbin. got a yellow. That's number seven. Simbin for number seven. Simbin. She kicked the ball away after the tackle and the penalty. I think that's, that's what she got dinged for. Capitalize. John, while I'm doing what I'm doing, tell people what's going on. Washington Athletic Club. And she's going to put it down right in front of the posts. Smart run by number 21 from Washington Athletic Club. Dotted down right in front of the post, Matt. Good smart run by number 21. All right, here's number eight, Carly McKinnon, with the conversion, and it is good. And she's having a great match. Again, if you're just tuning in, this is on the RugbyNetwork.com, which you know because you've tuned in. All these games are streamed live from the National Club 7s here in Seattle. We're at restart Starfire by Stadium. Carly. And Carly McKinnon gets us restarted, John. <laughs> Gathered by Bridget Capinas. Not rolling away. That's Capinas, Br Bridget Capinas, not rolling. Or, there's a kick at the touch now. Does it find touch? Oh, I don't think it found touch, Matt. Gathered by Carly. To Krista Banks. Here comes a big run by Wack. Oh, not just oh. over the head of Sydney Watanabe. Want, why not? Watanabe. And there she is again with the ball, but she's going to be no oh, play she's got the, the referee. I'm hearing not. different whistles from different pitches, or maybe it's just all in my head. Playing right on that touchline, Matt. Quick lateral movement. Here comes McKinnon. Back inside. And great directing of where to go to her teammate. Smart, patient player, that Carly McKinnon. And I think she's going to be put away. She's got the second try of her day on or this match. The brace for Carly McKinnon on not only quarterbacking while she's running, but then getting the ball back and putting it under the posts. Smart direction by Carly. If you saw that play, that movement beforehand, she's really patient directing... And the kick is good. Conversion is great. 
The conversion is great. <laughs> the kick is great. So we got a T-shirt for the National Club Sevens. The kick is good, crossed out, and right under it, the kick is great. Kick is great. Right? Okay. You're a marketing genius, I Matt. I am. I am. I'm, I'm wonderful at things that don't make anybody any money. <laughs> All right, that. So this is Chicago North Shore's second appearance at National Sevens, Matt. In this tournament. Second appearance at National Sevens, making it all the way to the national championship. I, I think that's a deceiving stat there. Did we know definitively? You know, we're surrounded by assassins here with the, I, with the interns. I, I, right? I feel like we are. And the, the Megan Megan Sanders in now for Washington Athletic Club, number nine. Restart by Carly McKinnon. That's strong tackle by Megan. Nice defense by Nia Beasy for Wack. I beg your pardon for North Shore. And now Wack. Looking Cut for another pass. try. Oh, and that's going to be a knock on. Unfortunately, she was looking to the try zone, maybe to try to turn that corner before she S had the ball. Smart cutout pass, just wasn't able to gather it. Maybe again, Matt, I think that slick ball might be taking effect now as the game wears on and the perspiration happens. You know how greasy those balls can get. Oh, I do. Not that I ever dropped a rugby ball in my life. Never. Or passed. But here's the scrub down to Chicago North Shore, trying to get it out of their zone. Referee looking to see that we're coming together properly. And from what I gather, looking around, I think it's 15-5 Washington Athletic Club on top right now. Carly with the restart. Quick ball, quick lateral movement. Up. Oh. She had that corner. She wanted it, Matt. Yeah. Uh, Carly's going to take this straight up. And Third it's the hat try trick. of the match for Carly McKinnon of Washington Athletic Club, Matt. And I would throw my hat in, but I'm sitting in the sun, and my head would fry like an egg. It would. Yeah. It would. Yeah. It but is warm here today in Seattle. And she just converts her own try. She's converted three tries, three of her own tries. And now Wack is up 22 to 5, if my math is correct. Player of the match so far has got to be Carly McKinnon. Strong, strong work from her today. And we got a breeze, John. Breeze actually feels nice up here on this lift. You mean in the Pioneer Pies studio booth in the sky. Uh, we've got some great pies, meat pies right next to us, the truck. Strong, hard run by Chicago North. As Alicia Eschenbrenner with a strong run with, by Chicago. Ball into touch. He's, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, he's, he's reading the wrong teleprompter. You'll have to forgive him. But it's going to be a penalty back to Chicago North Shore, who trail 22 to 5, we think. Uh, our feed on the, our monitor just, is, just blinked out. And we're not bright enough to keep the score ourselves. But there's some physical play going on on this pitch. Neither Hard tackling teams, out there. Yeah, neither one of these teams have quit, John. Nope, not at all. Despite the heat, despite maybe all the energy. And there's a penalty awarded. But not releasing to Wack. Quick tap taken by number 26. Looking for some help on the outside. That's Sanders. And diving just looking an inch forward to keep the ball. Lily Shear. Quick Here's, cutout pass to Carly McKinnon. Carly Looks to come back inside. Carly McKinnon dancing and then finding some opening to get the ball off to her teammate. Here comes number 26 off the bench. Does she have enough for the try? She does. Try Washington. That's going to make it 27-5. Chicago.
Chicago North Shore is on their heels right now. And we do have a little bit of that breeze is turning into a wind, and that might have blown that conversion kick to the right, but it doesn't matter because that was the final play of the match. Full-time whistle. And Washington Athletic Club defend their home turf.